I was in the fire service for 24 years and a good chunk of that was in a, a chief officer role. So in that role came a lot of responsibility, a lot of pressure on my plate. And I, I own a lot of my mental health challenges and the burnout that I actually came to in 2020. Okay. But because of that, I own it because I put a lot of pressure on myself. Right. I put a lot of pressure on my expectations and what I was meant to do. And I, and it was a lot of unrealistic goals. Yeah. And in 2020, so after, you know, several years in the, the fire service, yeah, I, I could probably feel last five, 10 years of that was starting to feel, all right, my nervous system's a little fried. Yeah. Uh, I'm starting to feel anxiety when I never felt anxiety. Yeah. So in June, 2020, something bigger than myself, something bigger than, than anything I've experienced forced me to get out of bed go call my boss that day and say, effective today, I need to take a break. I need to take a, a stress leave. Wow. No idea where that came from. I hadn't talked to myself. I hadn't talked to my partner, my wife. Right. I hadn't talked to the kids about it. I hadn't contemplated this whatsoever. Just something, yep. something larger than me yep. forced me to go out on that lawn, call my boss and make, you know, and some people call it the 5,000 pound phone. Uh -huh. when you have to pick up that phone when you really don't want to or, or don't know how to, but you pick yep. up that very, very heavy phone yep. to call basically for help. 